Okay, so those of you who have been following me for a while probably know that I'm a big fan of Mylar Bits and that I believe very strongly in their bidding philosophy and that I um, am very focused on bits and bidding, uh, proper bits and bidding as a cause of a lot of horse misbehavior. Um, so because it's winter and I can't do a lot of outdoor videos right now, um, I've decided to go through and just explain why I like certain bits and what type of horses I use them for. Um, maybe some of you who watch this might recognize your own horse in the description and might um, this might help you solve one of your problems that you've had. Um, so the first bit and probably my favorite bit on the market is the Mylar combination bit, combo bit, which I have sitting right here. Um, as you can see, it consists of a kind of a strange looking uh, bit cheek piece. And then there's a nose band which attaches through these two loops directly to the curb strap. And unlike other combination bits that are on the market, the Mylar's is actually designed so that the pressure goes on the nose first, nose and curb strap first, before the bit comes into play. So as you can see here, if I hold the nose band up with my hand and holds the mouthpiece, when you first pull on the rein, you can see already there's pressure on the nose band and there's also a little bit of pressure put on the curb strap. If I take both reins and I stop sliding, so the mouthpiece slides, it's not until the mouthpiece hits this stop on the side ring that the pressure is actually felt on the mouth. The rest of the time, this mouthpiece is just sitting in the mouth and the pressure is felt on the nose and on the chin and there is a little bit of pull pressure because this bit has a large purchase. Now you can put the reins on this ring here and that takes away a lot of the sliding of the mouthpiece and that kind of just makes it a side pull hackamore with a bit. Um, but the horse gets the opportunity to respond to just the noseband pressure. And if that horse responds to just the noseband pressure, boom, the mouthpiece never comes into play. The mouthpiece just ends up just sitting there in the horse's mouth. So I really, really like this bit for retraining horses who have been, um, I don't want to say abused by bits in the past because a lot of times people don't intend to abuse their horses. It just, they've been ridden roughly. Um, they are afraid to take up contact with the bit because they've been hurt in the past. This is a great bit to work on issues like that with because the horse gets used to carrying the mouthpiece but without any real pressure on the mouth. The bit is just sitting there and they can respond to the pull on the nose and the curb pressure and then learn to trust the hands that are holding the reins and learn to trust the bits. Um, this bit because of the nose band and the curb pressure is also great for teaching horses to collect because the nose pressure, if they know how to give to pressure, the nose pressure will tell them to tuck their nose and the curb pressure, same thing, tells them to tuck their ch nose and their chin and the pole pressure tells them to lower their head and so, and once they do that, boom, the bit pressure releases. Without the person releasing the pressure on the reins, all of this releases when the horse responds. So it's really great for teaching horses to collect. It's really good for retraining horses who have been ridden roughly and who are afraid of bit contact. Um, I also really like this bit for trail riding because you can stay out of your horse's mouth. You, you know, you can trail ride with a little bit of a loose rein. You can stay out of your horse's mouth, but then if you need a little bit more, like say your horse puts its head down and goes to graze on some grass, you 
can get that bit up to, you know, use, you can get that bit up to where it comes into play and give them a little bit of correction and then go right back to bit just sitting in there. Um, this bit comes in a lot of different mouthpieces. Um, this is not a Mylar noseband. This is a custom noseband that I had made for me. Um, so this, the Mylar has either a flat leather noseband or a rawhide noseband, but I wanted something that was kind of in between those two. Um, lots of different no, mo, uh, mouthpieces can be put on this bit. This is a level three mouthpiece, which means it's for a very well-trained horse. Um, this is a 05 mouthpiece, a wide port comfort snaffle mouthpiece. It offers a lot of tongue relief, so the horse pretty much has complete freedom of the tongue, even when the bit is fully engaged. So this is a mouthpiece for a very well-trained horse or a horse who is very nervous about tongue pressure because they've been abused in the past with harsh bits. Um, I also like this bit if I have a rider who is maybe a little bit strong on the rein or a little bit quick on the rein because, again, it transfers some of that pressure to the nose and the chin and not all on the mouth. Um, I really had good success with this bit. Now, for most showing, this bit is not show legal. Um, I believe you can use this in um, jumpers in cross-country classes, and you can use it in, um, I believe, some trail competitions. But most, most showing, this is not a show legal bit, so this would just be a training bit. Um, but as you can see here, pressure felt on the nose and the curb first and then on the mouth. So this is a really, really nice bit, a really, really mild bit. It's not a cheap bit, especially when you have a custom one like this. Um, but it is well worth it, I think, to make my horses as comfortable as possible. And that is what this bit does. It allows my horse to be as comfortable as possible. This was actually the one that I used um, on my horses Brandy and Tiny. This was the bit that both of them loved and I've used it with good success on a lot of other horses. So um, if you are interested in the Myler bits in general or the Myler combo bits, um, you can message me and I can either come out and do a bidding evaluation in person or if you live too far away for me to do one in person, I can do a bidding evaluation over video and over message and hopefully help you and your horse find a better fitting and more comfortable bit and help you guys get a more harmonious relationship. Thank you.